Hello, everyone. We've Howdy. been having some technical difficulties here, so sorry about that. Um, howdy. How are y'all doing today? Um, we're finally here. We've got lots of people joining us, it looks like, today. You must be excited about this new art and tumblers and mugs and all this stuff we have going on. Um, hello, Marianne. Says I have to watch on the TV. The phone's charging. Thank you for joining us. Suzanne is here. Cheryl is here. Michelle is here. Also watching on her TV. Uh, making a bracelet. Nice. Donna is here with us. Susie is here. Hello, Susie. Norma has joined in. Um, Donna is also over there on Instagram. We have Liken Myself on Instagram. Accent Illusions over there in Studio One Creations. Hello. Thanks for joining us out there. Um, new stuff. Kind of. If you are new, say who you are and where you're watching Yeah, from. let us know in the comments who you are, your name, where you're watching from. We love to chat. We chat here quite a bit to start, um, usually for about 40 minutes or so. It allows other people to come in and out. And if you don't like the chatting session, come in like 40 minutes after and we, we will actually get to the get to the stuff. Um, hello, Anne is here. Says, hi, all. I'm going to crown my current art while we talk new art so I can get frames. Nice. We need to do that. Whew. We've been doing some spring cleaning here and some zhuzhing. some zhuzhing, and we realize how many frames we need to get as well. About 1,100. 1,100 frames. I think I want to um, switch up. Some switch some armor. stuff out, move it around. Yeah. Move some into one room, out of one room, put something else up instead. You. We have left our art in place for many, many years. We usually don't have time to even think about that because we're so busy working with the store. Yes. There's no, no time for it. Not a single moment. Not a single moment. So, we've got a lot to show you today. Andrew's done some new artwork. Um, are these ones done, Andrew? Um, those are going to be, because yeah, I, I didn't do those yet. That's the one thing I wasn't sure. I have to ask. See, we're just, we're like figuring this out sometimes ourselves. Um, but we do have artwork to show you. We made some new tumblers. What? Another tumbler in March? What? So normally we I do, like it. normally do, we do one a month. Andrew really likes this one. Um, so he was happy with how it turned out. We have another mug um, for y'all to take a look at. And we have some new artwork by Andrew. And we have a new, which I didn't say, we have a new pendant. We have a new cabochon. And Andrew's going to do some working with you, maybe, um, to show you some bead embroidery around those. So we've got a, a quite the show for you here tonight. Bead um, embroidery, it's more um, just bead weaving. Bead weaving, sorry, bead weaving. Um, <laughs> Josh Wensley joined us on Instagram. Thank you, good to see you. Hope all is going well for you. Um, uh, last I saw you were doing a lot of traveling. Looked like a lot of traveling. Um, so what else is happening for us? The I just, just posted the Saturday morning tutorial um, photo, a kind of preview. It's going to be an, a pair of herringbone earrings, spring flings, Jen is calling them. And so we're going to have that tutorial up here for your viewing pleasure on Saturday morning around 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And we hope you'll check that out. I still have to edit it but we just filmed it yesterday so i think i'm going to try and edit it tonight maybe before yesterday huh no yesterday tuesday oh what day is it? today's wednesday <laughs> oh, it's thursday already <laughs> no we're, we're i'm not that far behind yet um normally i edit them thursday friday night um so i've been trying to get them out there a little bit earlier so we can get some reels made and sent out into the world so you all get a kind of a preview like an ad advertisement for the for the saturday morning tutorials um i would call it utilizing our content in effective ways <laughs> multiple ways reusing content that way we don't just um flash in one pan yeah 
Because a lot of times the stuff we make gets used like one place and then and it's done. And that's it. Uh, we're trying to get better about that. Um, that's Creating more evergreen content. Mm -hmm. More evergreen, using that content in multiple platforms in multiple in ways. Fresh ways, not. Right. It's all about, I think. Because we put our stuff in a lot of places, but sometimes it's the same thing. I think that's we're, we we're definitely trying, you know, we're going through a big move right now. Mm -hmm. And the move, I think, is affecting us psychologically in the sense that we want stuff. We don't want to just take what we've done before and do it again. No. We want to kind of. You know, we're trying to freshen fresh, up yeah renew grow yeah. change evolve yes we are trying to you know look toward the future and um and while kind of remembering the past making fresh starts toward the future and yeah. where we want to go honor the past but build on it right so that is what we've been doing, um, and we're thankful that you're along for the ride with us. Um, it means a lot to us that you are sticking with us through all this. Um, we know that things are a little maybe seem different in some ways lately. Um, maybe it just feels that way on our end because we are doing a lot of changing in the background. But um, hopefully what you're seeing, you're enjoying, and hopefully what you are seeing uh, is working for you and uh, the way that you need us to work for you still right hello lennis suzanne says andrew georgia says hello oh i miss her yeah make sure you say hello back next time you're there hey i got something in the mail i think that might be of interest to you oh but i don't know if i should show it because then um then other people will want them <laughs> And I am of a, a greedy, greedy dragon heart right well, maybe now. Maybe we'll send you a picture when, when Andrew's ready. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, the Saturday morning tutorial is coming up. Friday, it's almost here. Our very first ever Meet Your Creative Community Day. So, we are doing an online event in our Allegory Gallery Design Challenges group on Facebook. We're calling it Meet Your Creative Community. We are asking you to take any part of any of our kits and make stuff with it. So take one of our kits, make some stuff. And just do it. And just do it. Just don't think about it. <laughs> just... You can think about it. <laughs> Punch fear in the face. Right. Isn't that what that one dude with says? Punch fear in the face. And just do it. Just do it. Don't... I know somebody was like, oh, I don't know. I don't no, know. I don't want to show my stuff. I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't take all that doubt and just throw it away. And we had somebody who posts almost every day say that they weren't going to post. And I was like, that's the opposite. <laughs> that's the opposite of what you should do. You post every day. You should, you <laughs> should be the one. Repost something if you have to. Correct. Um, but no, just make something use, you know, it doesn't have to be anything like over the top connect, unless you want it to right. be. It can be a pair of earrings using one bead each from one of our kits. It can be that simple. Um, and what we're doing is it's going to start with taking those kits, making something with them. If you haven't gotten a kit already, I'm sorry, it is way too late for us to ship you one now. Um, unless you're local and you want to run and pick it up. But we even then, even then that's pushing it because um, you still got to make something. For, we got to meet up for coffee or something. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only way I'm getting out the house. <laughs> and I, then it's kind of not i don't know where it fit what about y'all but it's a little bit miserable yeah it's cold so we have um we're going to ask you to make something and post it in the allegory gallery design challenges group on friday um i'm hoping we're hoping that it lasts all day people post things throughout the day remember if if you're somebody who is always last minute like me i'm that way you can post at 10 o'clock p.m. on Friday. We just want to keep this going as much as we can. If you're making more than one design, maybe space out the ones that you post. And the reason we're asking that 
is that this is about meeting one another. So we want to have people meet one another in the group through your work first. And with each piece of work, you can post personal details if you want to, what you do for work, what you do if you're retired, what your other hobbies are, what inspired your piece, where you're located, you know, all that kind of stuff so that maybe you'll meet friends and you'll start hanging out in person. That's happened quite a bit in our group um, and through and these yeah, lives. Said, one of the most flattering things I heard was they, somebody said, they met their ride or die in the AGB fam and they like go on trips and stuff together. That's awesome. And That's awesome. Y'all may know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to say <laughs> it in case you're, you're bashful or whatever. That's right. That's right. So, and because, I mean, once these are up, people can see them, of course, but um, if you post at different times in the day, if you have multiple posts to make, maybe you'll meet different people who are interacting with the group at that time. Um, now, this is obviously happening on Friday, but I'm sure, I'm hoping these conversations will last in the weekend as well. Um, and if you are running late, you can post things then. But we are trying to get everyone, it's the reveal day is Friday. So we want you to post everything you can on Friday. And remember, if you're not posting and you're in the group, um, even if you are posting, please comment on other people's posts. Yeah, and give them that good AGB fam welcome. That's right. Give them lots of support. Give them lots of love. Um, ask them questions about themselves. Ask them questions about their pieces. This is, think of it as kind of a mixer. Where would you go if you were meeting new people? What kind of questions would you ask? We want to see that happening in the comments. We want people to interact with one another and really get to know one another and just have fun with it. Um, Back in the old times when um, when there are big shows, like there's shows now, but they're not, it, the flavor is different. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to, you know, I'm friends with show promoters. I love them. I hope they do well. But the flavor of the shows are is a little bit different now. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a generational thing or what. But back in the day, when there was a show, people would come from all over and they would wear the most crazy yeah. stuff that they made. Yep. And they they're, would like- They're pieces of pride, kind of. Yeah, I know. Some of us like almost like <laughs> battle armor with beads. <laughs> yep. And they had this thing called the beater's handshake. And if you were not familiar with the beater's handshake, you had to get you had to get with the program real quick. You got real quick. Your sense they of grab space, you. They grab your piece and look and at it. And they start looking and fingering around your areas. <laughs> not, your, not those areas. Not those hopefully. areas. Hopefully. But I did see some beaded something somethings. You know, better watch you do a beaded belt or something. I know you don't have the new experience. <laughs> this one dude, he got, he made himself this beaded kind of like a jock strap and yeah. i was like you know somebody's gonna be reaching and looking <laughs> and examining your stitches getting close getting up in there <laughs> hopefully you know hopefully maybe you they he did, did not purpose but i never saw him after that so um he dressed like this mermaid mm -hmm. do y'all remember who that was some of you some of the longtime people he used to work for one of the seed bead oh, companies. Let me get through the comments or we won't see. Um, Donna says, I have uh, beads on my workbench for three different designs. Nice. Um, Suzanne says, I finally made mine. Lennis is asking whether it'll be an album or just post. This is just posting. This is so that they do hit the timeline. We're Normally, flood that time we're going to flood the timeline. Normally, we put an album up and we ask you to post in the album for like remembrance sake. So we can go back and look at them and you can see different designs. This time, this is just to flood the timeline and try to get as many people interacting in the group as possible. Sometimes when you use albums, um, they don't, people, don't know, how to people don't know how to use them. They don't show up as much. This is flooding the timeline. Just the group timeline. Um, I'm excited. Cheryl says, oh, no, not a mixer. Not this introvert. LOL. You can do it. You can do it. It's behind your keyboard. It's behind It's behind your screen. Don't post worry. Post a picture with your dog. <laughs> you don't have to post your face. You have lot. Yeah, right? You And you have lots of stuff that you've made. Um, I know you have stuff. <laughs> right? You've used a kit or two of ours. I know it. Maybe one or two. Amy. Hello, Amy. Says, which is why I don't wear jewelry to shows anymore. I know. But it was so fun. Everybody kind of like 
there was this atmosphere like everybody was like festive mm -hmm. some people have like wardrobe changes oh jen's with us over here says what's up makers i'm well acquainted with the beater's handshake um and I thought, you know, at first it's startling. However, there's this like great sense of like everybody is like super excited. There's this wonderful atmosphere. Well, and you get to, I mean, yes, it is people grabbing at your things, but you also get to take pride because people want to see what you've made. They're genuinely interested. Yeah. And that's what are, we want. They also are fellow makers. Right. It's not like people grabbing at you no. to like be. And it could, Nasty. it could have been the, the, some of the simplest wire wrapping to some of the most ornate things. People still are interested and people still want to see it. And that's kind of what we want to get to with the meet your creative community reveal day is that no matter where you're starting from, our people want to see it. We want to see more designs and more things that you make on our timeline. Um, and remember, this is not just jewelry. Uh, if you use our kits and use our beads to make a painting and use the beads in the painting or a diorama, a shadow box. Um, we used to have somebody who, I don't, do you think she would mind if I told her name? Maybe first name. Um, Jan mm -hmm. from Pittsburgh. Yeah. <laughs> um, she would use our, she's a polymer clay artist, mm -hmm. and she would take the kit beads and incorporate them in her polymer These clay. These amazing polymer clay scenes and designs. And um, so she was not using it in the traditional, no. quote unquote, traditional. But we looked forward to seeing them every time because we knew she was going to come up with something great with that. So that's an idea too. If you want to can use them in other crafts. Them. Also, this is low-key a good way, if you have a small business, this is a low-key to, to promote your own work. Right? You know? It's like, here's what I do. What do I do in my spare time? I have a small business that and I run. This is what it's and this named. is what its name is, right? And I mean, if you're going to do it and you're like, I sell this, 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 and you don't use a kit, then maybe that... <laughs> yeah that post may disappear. <laughs> right. But we will be monitoring these things. We don't want spam. <laughs> but if you've made something and you want to people, you know, when we talk about who we are, one of the biggest things is we have a small business and we talk about that. So if we were going to any mixer, any group, what do the we do? First question, <clears> what, what do you do? do? <laughs> we run a bead store, right? And people like do flat. We have a bead store in our gallery. That's what we, that's what it is. But, uh, and I know, I know, I follow <laughs> y'all, some of y'all, I don't know who everybody, but I follow some of y'all and there are things that you're working on getting ready for raising shows. money for that, that animal auction. Animal auctions, getting so, ready for shows. So you got, you have an <clears> opportunity <throat> to pimp. I get, is that <laughs> appropriate, appropriate pimp your show i guess if we're sex positive <laughs> we can do that um, we can so that. pimp your <laughs> pimp your show pimp your charity yeah yeah get this the is word out about if you've taken a class somewhere with somebody that's a good opportunity if you're going to be help. teaching somewhere yeah it's a good opportunity to help boost the signal right. This is about meeting your creative community. Whatever you creatives are out there doing, you get to introduce yourself to everyone, the 1,100, 1,200 people in the group, and the however many people we can send from our 8,400 people that follow us into that group that day and that weekend, and who knows how long those posts will remain. And if you know somebody who may be interested and you, you have a beating bestie and they're not in the group, invite them into the group this mm -hmm. is a great time for our introductions yep. and kind of kind of seeing who the agb fam is that's right and so, so donna says absolutely it's why i really love the design challenges group everyone is so nice yeah and i hope that that you know i'm confident that it's not going to turn into like a no. bloodbath or whatever no. No. but um just remember our golden rule in there is be kind. That's right. Hello, Sandra. Thanks for joining us. Did you find a house? Did you find a house? Are you still in NC or are you down in Florida again? What's going on? Cindy is here. Hello, Cindy. Thanks for joining in. Um, Cindy liked and shared. Thank you so much. Um, 
Michelle says, I'm going to have to repost from what I made from my kit. Been busy with making stuff for my friend. That's okay. Especially if you've, even if you've started a project and yeah, you want to post, it doesn't, doesn't have to be finished. You can put, I've started this project with this kit and there you go. And so um, the other thing that will be useful is uh, if you yes, can, have time. We're not, it, the deadline's not now. No, you got two days yet. You got, you got 30 minutes. You can sit down <laughs> and do something. Whip something up, right? 10 minutes. That's right. Maybe, and if maybe you. Maybe five minutes is cutting it close. <laughs> but. And if you do know the name of the kit or you go back in your order history, if you've uh, made an account on our website, you can find the order history and put a link to the kit. If it's still available, help us sell some more kits um, or at least give the name of the kit. You don't have to do that, but we appreciate it if you do. Yeah, that's not mandatory, but it helps get more kits out the door. Um, if we uh, see a kit that we know that you use and it's still on there, we may put a link in your comments too, just so you know that. Um, but the main idea is not selling. The main idea is to get to know everybody. But and if also, we make some sales along the way, that helps keep us going. It helps pay the mortgage. That's right. I got some bills. Some that extra. we do. Um, but anyway, so uh, when back in the day, we used to have reveal days for our kits. This is yep. where that came from. Yep. This all came from. Andrew was thinking us. back on it. Yeah, we were talking about how it was so fun. Like back in the blog hop days, mm -hmm. it was like a little bit crazy making. But we, back then, we only did one kit a month, pretty much. Yeah. And that was, it was a big kit. And there were only limited numbers. It was one kit a month. And there weren't all these little inspiration kits like we do now. Um, they didn't come out so often. It was once a month. And so everyone who could get one, because we sold out of those usually quick. Like five minutes. Five minutes or less, we would be go they would be gone. Um, and then every there was a reveal day. That? Yeah, I know, right? It was hard to get those kits sometimes. Is Susan watching? I haven't seen Susan. Susan Surreal? I haven't seen her. She's been... Yet. With with me since since before the store. That I thought her name was um what's her name, Bootsy. <laughs> Bootsy. I was I thought her name was Bootsy. I was like that's an interesting name. <laughs> that's her cat's that's... name. But back in the day, you know, it was different. You know, you only had yeah. You know, it's like handles or whatever. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and Facebook didn't make you use your real name back then. I don't even think we did it on Facebook. It was all on blogs. All on blogs. So. Yeah, whatever you called your blog. So we used to have one big reveal day where everyone revealed their project and there was a big blog hop. Andrew would take um, links from everyone's blog and post them on our blog or his blog, actually. And people would send, and people pictures. Would send pictures and he'd post them and do write-ups about them. And then everyone would click into everyone else's blog post and go and read about it and... And then you'd go to other people's blogs. Yep. And it was a lot of fun. I liked it. I mean, it was kind of a crazy amount of work for me. Yeah. Because some folks waited till the last minute. <laughs> and sometimes, like, okay, so I feel so bad about saying this. But one time, this person, I'm not going to say who it is, because I don't know if they're still <laughs> watching us. But they were not wearing pants, and they took a picture of the project, and they had the paper and, like, a cardboard in their lap, and stuff was showing. <laughs> and so I had to edit those pictures real fast. Right. There was some cropping and blurring. <laughs> and I was like, oh. You know your cameras take it as a got a wide shot. <laughs> got that wide angle on. You need to like maybe like zoom in, yeah. use the macro. But it was a lot of fun. And so we wanted to bring back that excitement. Even though we do a lot of different kits now, we wanted to kind of uh it's not everyone using the same kit, but it's everyone using a kit and bring back the reveal day. So, and also, it touches on our whole history as a business. Yeah, going back to pre-Allegory Gallery, actually. If you have any of those August or October readers challenges from <laughs> 20... You can still use those kits if you, if you got them hanging out. How do you call it? 2009? 
2009. Is that from then? When was our store? Our store started in 2011. And we moved to Pennsylvania at the end of 2009. So maybe 2009. Yep, 2009, 2010. Maybe it was 2008. I have vague recollections of sending stuff from Brooklyn. Could be. Cindy said, I just saw the sneak peek at Saturday's tutorial. Yep, Saturday morning tutorial peek is up. It says, yay, excited. I have made the ones from last week. I just have to finish the bottom part before I post them. Oh, good. Yeah, remember, you can keep posting stuff. Um, it doesn't matter when you make the stuff. Just post it. Say, this is from a Saturday morning tutorial. Um, this is the 41st Saturday morning tutorial that we'll be doing. And it'll be up 8.30 a.m. Saturday morning Eastern time. I feel like we should do something extra festive. I like the idea of that countdown. The the top 40 countdown should go through and see what the views are for each of those. And The top 40. The, Casey the, Kasem. <laughs> I know, top 40. Is it Casey Kasem that did top 40? He, I think it? so. I think he did the top 40 every week. And then they did top 100 and top 150. They used to Who's do that one that used to be on American Idol? Ryan Seacrest? Did he do Top 40? I think he took over for Casey Kasem. You no, know, I had, I listened to the radio station, but I listened to the local one, and they're like, we don't play Top 40. We're a just a lot of our 40. locals, they, on what was a Sunday morning, they would pull in the, the, the national broadcast for the Top 40. Mm -hmm. And then they would have the crying time stories <laughs> in their stores. I don't remember those. And they'd be like, Eileen from Paducah. Right. <laughs> seeking a man friend. And they listened to oh the boy. music and didn't know. But this was what happened. Jen, it brought them together. <laughs> Jen just says, holy wow, over 40. I know. 40 was last week. Hit the big 4-0. Donna says, yes, I've helped a vendor at a bead show and got so many compliments on a necklace I made. Yeah. Get those compliments. That's what it's for. Amy says, I dislike the elevator script. I know. I know. It's good to have one. They do come in handy, but um, if you don't know what that means, um, that's when you try to sum up your entire life and everything you do in the space of an elevator ride. In case you ever meet someone big and they're wondering what you do and you got to tell them, you got to influence them in an elevator um, speech. Yes, and we, I blocked the door. <laughs> right. <I'm slow. laughs> so we don't like those. And that's why you've got all day Friday and all weekend to meet one another in the Meet Your Creative Community Day. Um, uh, Lena says, yeah, and pimp your cat sanctuary, right? Do it. And Sanders back in Florida. Oh, boy. Suzanne's asking, yes, how's the house hunting going? Harry has joined in. Hello, Harry. Um. Do, do, do. Donna says, yeah, I have no idea what the kit names are. That's why I sign up. If y'all don't know, you can buy from our website without an account, I believe. Um, but if you sign up for an account on our website, that's just on the upper right-hand corner, I believe. Um, you can sign up for an account, and then it tracks everything, your whole history. You can go back through just like a just like a regular store, y'all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can track your order stuff all through that account and see what you've ordered. Um, it, so you can set that up. You just have to make sure if you ordered with one email and you have another one, use the right email because it's going to look you up by your email. Or if you use ordering uh, by your phone number, you need to have that in there too. That's through Shopify, right? That's through Shopify. You know, that's convenient. It is. It is convenient. Michelle says, okay, back to work. I will share this bracelet on the triers group. Yeah, share it. I love to see what you're trying. The triers group, if you don't know what that is, is my personal group. I have my own group um, for my page, William Tries Things, where when I try different new things, I post about them or try to. Um, and then we have a group called the triers where anybody trying new things or if you're you know, trying something for the first time, the idea is to get rid of the stigma that you have to be good at something right away because as adults we do the same thing often so much that when we try something new we as andrew tells me i shouldn't say we decide we don't have the patience right um, it's just because we're not used to having to do something different so every time do something different every day yeah so when you do 
it takes you a long time sometimes to get the hang of it or you know it frustrates you a little bit and you think it's not good enough to show anybody um so my group the triers is about trying to get everybody out of that and like if you're trying a new paper craft and it goes horrendously bad post it we want to see it we want to see you trying if you're trying journaling you're trying you uh, vision boarding it's good too. you can post if it's great of course um we Don't want to see you have to we want to see the end results no matter what is the idea or process or the process that you're going through um it's it's all about like i said taking away the stigma of this has to be good enough to post um don't worry about that and we try to tell people that also in the design challenges group when you're making projects even if it doesn't look like what it's supposed to even if you did the saturday morning tutorial and it didn't come out anything like what you thought it was going to we still want to see it don't worry about if it came out right if it came out wrong say here's my try at this maybe i'm going to try again maybe i'm not maybe you decided not to yeah, sometimes when you try something you learn that something is not for you right and like that's I okay. I tried that glass, um, that um, working at the, uh, oh, the glass store, glass owner, uh -huh. and I'm fairly confident that I'm not going to be doing <laughs> that's that. Not, I mean, that's not your thing. I mean, it's neat. Yeah. It's really cool. Maybe when I actually get the paperweight, <laughs> I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm on fire for <laughs> I'm gonna this. going to do this. This is my new But thing. for now. But I told the person who's helped me, I was like, I, I, I just don't see this. <laughs> I was like, I'll let y'all do it. Yeah. Y'all do such good stuff already. Right. And that's the thing. Andrew's going to show what he did, whether, you know, he likes to do it anymore or not. I mean, I feel like I probably should show him more because I do a lot of stuff that people don't see. Yeah. And sometimes and they don't turn out. I'm trying to get a little bit better about that. Um, he doesn't post in my group much, y'all. I, he I says I could take over it. the group. <laughs> you no, know, because I want that to be your your kind of thing. I don't want it to be like, here's Andrew. <laughs> um, do try up all the trying. Donna says yes. They were design challenge kits, and you had a reveal day. I remember. Yeah, that's where the allegory gallery design challenges group. That's why it's called the design challenges group because they were design challenge kits and. They had a reveal date and we revealed them in that group once they moved from the blog and we moved into the store and started the store we created a group for them um thinking we, thinking we would only do one kit a month ever that was a long time ago even those kits we did hundreds of them because um at that mm -hmm. point we used to do one or more a month you know, back in the day, we used to be one of the only people who did kits and reveals and challenges like this. Yeah. Do you remember? I know. No one was doing stuff like that. Not really. Nope. And then everyone started doing kits and reveals. And then for a while, I was like, I don't want to do this at all. It's like, if everyone's doing it, I'm not doing it. <laughs> that was kind of a mistake. Yeah, it kind of took a break and that was not good because then people didn't, some people didn't know that we were some of the first to do that. You know, we had somebody say, are you new lately? <laughs> and that's cool. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about that. No. But um, a lot of the stuff is stuff that we started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Karen, Karen Shaw is with us. Hello, Karen. She says, OMG sounds like something I would do on accident. LOL. I don't know what that's referring to. I'm trying to think back. But um, yeah, I do a lot of stuff on accident. Uh, Lennis is having boeuf bourguignon tonight. Says, what are people eating? We had that last night. Kind of. Kind of. Andrew made that. Did, is that what made you think about having that tonight? Because Andrew mentioned it yesterday. That would be nice. Donna had cereal with a banana for supper. Um, <laughs> Harry had pork chops couscous and honey garlic sauce. That always sounds good. I know. Karen We're had vegetarian, so I don't know if we could eat chops, but um, I know. I always think about it. <laughs> and like Amy, 
I think about her food post all, all the, the time. time. Karen's has had mushroom stroganoff. That sounds delicious. That there, sounds Susan. Good. Hello, Susan. Just joined us. Which Susan? Susan Surreal. Howdy. Did your ears get burning? <laughs> Norma says, I'm eating leftover guacamole and quesadillas from lunch out yesterday. That sounds good, too. Um, yeah, so... Amy says it was Casey Kasem, then Ryan Seacrest. I thought he took over for Casey. What's the other one? Oh, Sandra found a house. Hooray. Working on the details. That's awesome. Good luck. We'll give you some we'll give you some of the, the effects there. How about that? Just in time for Mercury retrograde. <laughs> now, now, now. Don't put a damper on it. Hooray, but we're gonna keep <laughs> We're gonna keep giving positive you positive energy. We're gonna keep giving you the fireworks there. It's the time. Well, how are you gonna call the tribe? Send the energy. Right. Light the signal. <laughs> Get all that positive energy going flowing. Cheryl says I was more of a Dr. Demento gal. What is that for? For the music? Don't know. Don't know. What's that one? That guy he used to do the drop. And then he had like a stroke or something. I just remember John Garabedian. Oh. Who used to do the night party or what was his thing called? John Garabedian's. I used to listen to that all the time. It was Friday night, I think, night house. No, what Dick did they call Clark. it? House party. House party with John Garabedian. This is not Delilah. No, Delilah. I listened to Delilah too. That's awesome. Because I like the soft rock. So that's definitely the crying time yeah. story. I always liked the like the soft rock stuff, and she played a lot of that kind of stuff. I I don't know if she's still going. She had her own site for a while. She had like fifty kids, didn't she? Oh, my mom joined us over on Instagram. Hello. Hi. Says taco salad is what she's having tonight. That sounds good. Jen's giving the thumbs down to retrograde. You know, people say retrograde is a bad thing, and really it's a time to get in touch with your own self and mm -hmm. your own voice. Yes. It's sometimes when we try to communicate to others that there may be some, some not the best. Not the best, because either it doesn't come across or we don't know yet. Sometimes we're still getting in touch with ourselves, our new selves. So... I know sometimes people get like they're so. So let's reframe retrograde. How about that? We're all in this reframe. Let's reframe retrograde this this time and see if we put it in our minds that it's all about you know coming to ourselves and finding ourselves again. And even if there is some trouble communicating or some harsh feelings, um, because we're not sure how we're communicating what we're feeling right yet, or we're not sure we're accepting what other people are communicating. It's still about everybody trying to figure out who they are. And let's keep that in mind, right? You can try. Now your technology, get the get the blue calcidney. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, wow. the, the technology might be figuring Arrive itself early out too. For the Zoom <laughs> right. And, Start um, the Zoom meeting early. Make sure you're updated. Right. I okay, so I have I don't know if y'all know this, but I do a bunch of meetings all the time for all different things. Yeah, you do. And I don't, I don't even know how I keep track of it because I was like, I don't really do anything. And he started laughing. I said, <laughs> why are you laughing? And he because I was like, hey, I haven't done anything this week. And he was like, so you're planning a national <laughs> exhibition. You're playing a national event. You're currently in two shows. You're three shows. Three shows. Yeah, three shows. I saw a, a hint, I think, of my piece in England. Ah. They, I saw, like, the back ear of my sculpture. <laughs> nice. Through somebody else's sculpture. But I was like, oh, that looks nice. That's it'd, nice. It'd be nice to get a little bit Anybody closer. in England, get a picture of Andrew's piece, please. I don't need to see, like, zoom in no. on the piece. I know what the piece Get the like, room. Like, get, the, get a tour. Send us a video tour. Ambiance. Right. Um, Susan made a quick chopped veggie salad, light soy sauce based dressing. Nice. Marianne's got enough charge on her phone to join back in. That's awesome. That's good. Uh, and so I'm pretty sure I don't have an account. How is that possible? I'll set one up. Yeah, set up one up on our website. That way you can track your stuff. You can see what you've ordered. It's great. Yeah, you can track your A lot shipping. of people don't know you can do that. I, when we did an update to the website once, it would not allow you to order if you didn't set up an account. It switched the setting. 
And we had so many people complaining that they didn't want to do that. And I could not understand why, but I backtracked the setting. Um, and so now people just don't even know they can do it. So you can do that. I like it. Uh, Karen says, we teach our kids this and support others in new ventures, but are, we're harder on ourselves. Yeah, when you're trying new things, we're very hard on ourselves. And so I'm very hard on myself. I'm the first to say I have no patience for this. And Andrew yells at me every time I say that now. Um, and in a nice, loving way, he yells at me. Maybe. <laughs> He's like, maybe. Maybe it is not in a nice, loving way. Um, I'm probably wouldn't make a great like personal coach <laughs> maybe i <clears throat> it depends how close you are to the person i have a tough no i don't know i would say that sometimes i have a tough love approach sometimes you're you're abrupt I, and would then I, I was watching one of these shows and she dumped that dude real easy <laughs> Have that? Is that me? Do I have that ass burger? <laughs> she, yeah. If, what was that show called? Young Royals. Young Royals. And I'm not going to say who it is. No, we won't say who or what happened or when in the thing it happened. But she was very straightforward <laughs> and just walked away. Like, done is done. That was yeah, it. Like, do I have that? <laughs> um, Probably so, not. You're not, I don't think, to that extent, but sometimes you do. Uh, I think that's a product of your upbringing with oh. having so many siblings and age differences and all that. Yeah, confrontation was not so. That was the, that was like normal. Yeah, normal. So was... it like arguing was the modus operandi. Yeah, not for me. That was not how we, we never argued. Like if voices were raised, something bad happened. Well, not necessarily voices being raised, but that did happen a lot. So I don't really shy away from that. And so, and I have to realize some people don't. I am not, conflict averse. Yeah. I very much am. So if somebody is even the least bit choppy with me, I start taking it personally and start like, whoa, I can't. And I'm getting trying to get better at that. But in me, I said I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he will just tell it. Um, so I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> but maybe I would make a good dominatrix. Suzanne says I was like that in a class that I attended. I couldn't grasp the concept. The instructor said no worries. Yeah, sometimes it's not for you, right? Sometimes things are not for you, but at least you try them, and that's what my group's about: is trying new things. Um, Lena says, that's why I showed my mistake necklace. I've been doing this for 15 years and that was a basic mistake. Oopsies, right? It's good. It's good. It's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, that's how we learn. If you never made a mistake on anything and you did the same thing all the time, you never learn anything new. Um, Amy says, I try to try as many things as I can. You do. You do. Jen says, I'm already terrible at technology. When retrograde hits, it hits me hard. Don't tell yourself you're terrible at technology. Just say you're learning it, right? You still got lots to learn. Uh, Donna says, those kits had tons of beads in them. The design challenge kits, yes. Um, they had a lot. They were kind of like what our peach fuzz kit was this time. Um, and sometimes even more than that. They used to come with a, a stringing material. Well, also beads didn't cost as well much. that's what i was gonna say <laughs> they came with a luxury bead blend that's where those started is inside those kits whoops it's it's giving thumbs up sorry i was counting um <laughs> and they had a stringing material the luxury bead blend they had at least two or three strands of gemstones usually some extra pieces and loose stones usually a little bag of loose stones and things that coordinated with stuff and then andrew usually made a custom pendant and that's where a lot of his polymer clay pendants started in there and a lot of our laser pendants started in there when my hand retroactively hurt right so they had a lot of stuff and they used to be priced at like 32 36 dollars is 20 dollars oh they're 20 well when they very started that they very was like my goal i used to do this thing if you remember the readers challenges from back in the day 
I used to barter with other artists mm -hmm. and I would get like the artisan components. So some of those kits were lux for little money. Yeah, like there was one where I did one, I think it was an October reader challenge and there was, um, there was stuff from Marsha Neal and then there was stuff from Sue Kennedy, who's a lamp work class mm -hmm. and Marsha Neal. Minutella is um, uh, ceramic. Ceramics. And so I always try to incorporate yeah. Those artisan kids were, components. And they were nice. And so now the reason we started doing inspiration kits, the smaller kits. We um, called them nibblers. We called them nibblers at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And people did not understand what a nibbler was. Because some people didn't know that we had the bigger kits. So the nibble of a kit didn't make sense. Um, so we, we transferred the name to inspiration kits. And now a lot of people are using that name inspiration kits. Um, we, we kind of started that too. Um, but it became so cost prohibitive for a lot of people, especially during the pandemic to be able to purchase the big kits. Um, those kits would probably at this point soar up into the 60, 70, $80 range. You know, and I, get, I have a hard time doing that because I know, like, some people, they don't have a problem. No, they'll post an $80 kit and say, you want it? Get it. And I've gotten some of those $80 kits to support some of my friends mm -hmm. and fellow colleagues and stuff. And I just can't justify it sometimes. Like, some of the things, like, I, I don't want anybody to get one of our kits, especially one of our big kits, and feel underwhelmed. Yeah. I kind of hate that idea. So I love when you get one of our kits and you're like delighted. Yeah, that's the that's goal. great. At least you should feel like I got my money's worth. Yeah. Like hopefully we delight you with things in pricing, but uh, we do our best. So that's why we stopped doing the super, super big ones. Um, every once in a while, we put a pretty big kit out there. Maybe but if you want them big kits again... If, you anybody want some sixty to eighty dollar kits? Hundred dollar kit, I make it real I'll nice. Make it real nice, right? Yeah, and we'll do a reveal date on the real nice kit. Um, let's see. Uh, Karen says, "Picture myself with no pants." Is that about the picture? <laughs> don't don't take pictures and send them with no pants, everybody. No. Um, Unless you're Henry Cavill. <laughs> and then he'll take the pictures. Susan says, yes, my ears were burning. Marianne had a fried egg sandwich on toasted English muffin. Another, and another etelia et et butter and last of my raspberry jam, jam. I don't know if that's a real word that I just don't know or if it's a misspelling. Um, cool effect, says Susan, right? The, the fireworks. We fancy. We though. fancy, I know. I don't even know what that's from. Sanders says, love the effects. That's the new Apple stuff. Apple incorporated that uh, kind of AI technology. It knows if you're raising a, a, a finger, a thumb, if you're raising two thumbs, and any other platform can tie into that. So we're using StreamYard and they tie into it. Uh, Amy says, Delilah took a leave and is back. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, Jen says, everyone else can get through the grocery store line, but when it's my turn, the register screws up. That's not good since you do shopping, right? I know. <laughs> that's not good Maybe at all. Maybe that's like a, just like a, a number of saying, like you do it so much more than the average person <laughs> that there's more opportunity. It's going to happen to you at some point. Um, Marianne says, but do I want to know myself better? With a laughing face. Um, I think it's good. Sometimes, right? Sometimes yeah, you learn things. Time. Sometimes you learn things that are hard to deal with, though, and you're not in the mindset for that. It, not, no. It's also sometimes better to know when when the timing is right for those things. Mm. Um, <laughs> Andrew disagrees. And says, "I just set up an account and it linked all of my previous orders because of my email." I guess yes. That's she nice. says, "Nice, yeah." It if you use the same email all the time. Now, I'm not going to tell you to do this, but some people use multiple emails because they know they can get on our email list and get a discount. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you can do that. But you can do that. You're going to get a little 10% discount or so with each email. email. 
but you're gonna not be able to track all of your orders together so it's that's nice. kind of like a bonus for people to sign like become a customer yeah but um, you know i feel it like sometimes i need the extra little 10 percent. So. yeah he signs up somewhere he only has one email though well technically i have two really but i don't two. even know what the address <laughs> is for the other one um sandra says andrew's on fire with all the shows classes and events big heart you don't even know y'all i got um yeah so i apply liberally yes he does um, and people like you get so many things and how does that happen and it's because i apply a lot so i get rejected probably three times as much as I You're did. finally starting to post some of your rejection rejections so people know. I have I did that in the past, but then I think people thought it was like a cry for help. Yeah. And then and I was like, this is not, it's not no. like, well, cheer up. Cheer up. And I, was, I like one person was like, I hope you don't do anything serious because I was like, uh, because <laughs> I didn't get into a show. Yeah. No. Like, no. It's just so many people are used to seeing him get things because, of course, you post the good things that happen. Yeah. Um, but it's good sometimes that people can see that it doesn't always work out. Marion says, I had an account on the website at one time, but not now. We can't delete. I don't even think we can delete accounts. So if you maybe had one, maybe you used a different email at one time or you used your phone number at one time. You know, we it's only through 2020 whenever we got the website. Yeah, if you had an old website on, on our other website, but I don't think you were with us then. I think no, because you were newer. Yeah, so I don't know why By you wouldn't. newer, I mean within the past four years. Because we, I don't think I have access to accounts. It's something that you set up on your end and they take care of if you need to reset a password or like I can't go in and reset passwords and stuff for people. Yeah. Um, so somebody asked us that and it was like you ask them all no. the only thing i can do is if you ask us to remove your da data um which we have to be able to do with all the new laws and stuff that have come into effect we can wipe it clean but um please that's... don't ask us that <laughs> the pain in the butt. it is it takes a lot it takes a long time to get through <sighs> yeah but that's what about have... mercury and retrograde Donna says, yes, and I've used the stringy material that came with it because it was so cool. Yeah, we used to have some different stringy materials coming with our kits. You never know. Donna says, I know for a fact that beads are very expensive now. Well, Susan says, yeah, yes, they are, relative, Donna. But the prices have gone up. Prices That's have just... definitely gone up. And we fought and we continue to fight to keep the prices as low as possible. Yeah. Because I hate when I know how much something costs and I see um, people price gouging. Yeah. Like there was a tube of sea beads and they were charging something like $20 for this tube of sea beads. And I was like, you bought that for 49 cents. Right. And I was like, I, I can't fathom that. No. Like I would have the deep guilt. But they bought out all the stock of it. Yeah, so they can. Then so they kind of controlled how much was available. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things. Like we're not going to do that to you. Well, we can. But we, <laughs> but we also can't compete with sometimes the race to the bottom. No. Um, so our deal is we always give you fair pricing as far as based on what we buy. And we give you the best quality we can possibly find. You know, when the pandemic hit, price. there were some companies doing 90% off. And yeah. I get it. They just needed money Cash to come through the door. However, I have kept a, a kind of a mental chart of who did that. And almost all of the people who did that are no longer in business or have sold their businesses. So, um, yeah. that's one of those things where, you know, that may feel nice to get that influx of cash. And sometimes you need it. But ultimately, you can't sustain that. No. Unless you are significantly raising unless your prices. Or you're so huge that you really are getting crazy margins on that stuff. Or you're getting just volume yeah. in. Volume discount. 
or you're just getting so many orders that you don't care. You're mm -hmm. making your money up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. That's called the loss leader if you do that. We do not do that. No. <laughs> because... We do not have that kind of buying power. No. Um, Donna says, I love the inspiration kits. I have so many of them that blend so well with beads in my stash. That's the idea. And to add new colors and new things to your stash, too. It's a good way to try things out if you haven't. Yeah. If you're curious. Marion says, that. copying is flattery? Question mark. I don't know what that's in referring to. In reference um, to for the people who are doing like how we've done it because we started a lot of stuff oh oh like yeah um i don't know maybe, <laughs> maybe. just come um, up with something new i know why do we have to like there are okay so i don't want to go too far into it because it gets kind of me in a bad mood yeah. I'm going to tell you that it gets me a bad mood. <laughs> yes, it does. So, uh, but what it is, is we work really hard to come up with new things, yeah. like new ways of engaging. We spend a lot of time and research on engagement. We put a lot of effort into the small business aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, William just finished a meeting. It's one of the reasons we were later, too. Just a was minute. on a Zoom. It went over a little bit. A little bit over. And then we had problems with the mic and the, the camera here. So um, anyway, so we spent a lot of time researching that. And sometimes it feels less than ideal <laughs> when you put in all this effort to do all the groundwork and somebody sees that your success is paying off and then they try to duplicate that. Do exactly. the same thing. And I don't particularly like that. I do recognize that sometimes it is good to look at various people who are successful yeah. and try to um, emulate that kind of mindset, that success mindset, um, and try to evolve mm -hmm. and stay current and stay fresh. But um, to just take what the groundwork that's been laid and try to quickly adapt it to your own business but like we had people who took our copy from our if you know our cop what that is like the writing the writing um from our posts on our things copy and paste that into their own descriptions and use that or they would take pictures that we use um that we took i mean they had like our cat hair in their <laughs> picture and they would claim it as their own yeah. and that is where it's not and good. because we're a small business and because we're smaller than some of our competition and we feel the need to constantly kind of try to come up with new things and stay ahead um, because like we said, we don't have the buying power that some do. We don't have the possible sales that some people have. So we have to innovate and um, come up with new ideas in order to keep interest going, to be perfectly honest in a lot of ways. And when you see that, when we do all that, and then those, then you have a big company who can do 90% off sales or can buy 10,000 units of every gemstone. And then they take what you've done and say, oh, now we're doing this. And they put out publicity for it. And it. some people, I believe, 100% have watched us over the years just to see what they can take. Yeah, and that's not good. And I mean, you can't, it's hard to stop until, unless you were trying to like, I would into... rather collaborate and work with somebody and kind of create something new yeah. as opposed to um, rip us off. Yeah. And that's the thing is that we're always looking to collaborate with people. But like, what do you do with that? You're, we're so small, we, we're not going to be able to sue them. Like they would tie us up in court and bankrupt. Like it's like that kind of stuff. Like, what do you do? You just come up with something else again and you try and... Um, Make it no, known I that you're doing know it. a good craft lawyer. So. <laughs> if we ever really needed to. And yeah. I have had to take advantage of their services in the past. Yeah. So this yeah. is not that we're not complete pushovers. No. 
Um, and so those original kits were amazing. I remember when Andrew made faux Moroccan amber beads. Gorgeous. But I'm loving the variety of the inspiration kits. Um, I would like to get back into making more individual components. And as we, um, um, as we transition our store, we're going to have more time in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll have help now. Yeah, me. Um, so. <laughs> so we can pump some stuff out hopefully yeah, um we started that with those metal pendants that we put out um and those got gobbled up real quick yeah we just haven't with the move and stuff we haven't had time to do in the studio at the same time yeah uh, marion says a victory sign gives a bunch of balloons yeah like this right this Doesn't one that means something bad somewhere peace be for victory i think did two of them do something different yeah confetti see Andrew is pure energy, says Susan. What kind? <laughs> uh, Marion says, not with you then. I will have to check. I have used two emails. I know you used two emails, two different ones here and there. Um, maybe you didn't set up one. You can set up one. You can still set it up. I don't know if you put both, e if you could, if there's a space to put both emails in or if you have to have two accounts if you want to track other emails. Also, you're... Um, international, so I don't know if that if Shopify does that. I think they do. I'm pretty sure. Internationally, um, Marianne's is the best kind of energy. Oh, thanks. Donna says some people that I used to order from I refuse to order from anymore because the quality is crap. And, well, that's the thing. And that's the thing is you can keep your prices low by having lower quality things. We try to have quality things and keep the the price as fair as we can but you know that's a relative term because yeah. um and i'm not defending them because i don't know who it is for one but we had somebody complain that our kit was mostly plastic this one kit was mostly plastic and like wow it was a vintage plastic kit so yeah there was no <laughs> attempt at us being like oh i'm gonna trick them this diamond got some and gemstones and yeah and it's actually la plastique right right no it was it i think it said right in the description vintage plastic and then we usually we, do. we reminded them of the descriptions and photos and stuff they got kind of huffy yeah um so that's not ideal but you know everything's relative so what may be good for one person may not be great for another so yeah and like i said like we we always treat you fairly as far as we can with our pricing. Um, you might be able to find stuff for less somewhere else. You're going to find it for more, I'm sure, somewhere else too. Um, but for the quality, we try and give you the best pricing we can. And so that's when you order from us. Um, I know there are people out there who die hard fans, the AGB fam out there. We appreciate it. You're going to order because you're going to order. And we love that. You know you're going to get the quality. You know you're going to get the best pricing we can give you. I also I know sell something that I wouldn't use. No, we don't sell things that we wouldn't use somehow, some way in our own stuff. But I should say that I also use a lot of different stuff. Yeah. So. The other thing is, is that I know there are people who comparison shop everywhere. And if they see it for five cents less, they're going to go buy it somewhere else. And we can't always compete with that. But we can't always say that we price our things as fairly as we've ever done in the last 12, 13 years we've been in business. Um, and we always make sure that the quality is, you know, good for the price. But we also, I think, um, add more than just, it's not like a big box store where you don't have that sense of customer service. Yeah. For instance, we provide a lot of education for... Yes, we do. Free um, education. And even our paid stuff, whenever we do it, is low cost. Mm -hmm. So there's always like a layer on top. We also go live every day, which some people may think doesn't, you know, it isn't a lot doesn't of mean work. Much. But it is actually quite a lot of work, and we yeah. try to be entertaining. So Entertaining. We answer your questions. We talk to you about, if you have a question about gems that we've had so many people have asked us, what is this, or how does this work? Or, And we do that. Um, 
infotainment infotainment donna says which is why i love ordering from you all because your beads etc is always great quality thank Thanks. you and if it's not and if we do find something it's happened once or twice um that something isn't as we thought it was or and, and we'll, you, replace, we'll it replace it we've done recalls before like usually we, time, we don't usually ever do recalls we usually just say keep it and we refund we've done yeah. that before like one time we bought a bunch of vintage beads and um you know they were lovely and i started working with some of the beads and i noticed my hands were turning yellow mm -hmm. and i realized that some of the beads the that coatings. had been had been dyed by somebody who had not professionally dyed them and so they had basically soaked it in writ dye and then sold it to me. And so when we had we made kits or something with that, those too, huh? we had made kits or something with yeah. those. And we had, once we found out, we automatically sent replacements mm -hmm. to and everybody who bought the kit. I'm actually, I found those beads and I'm actually washing them in a solution to get the dye out. See what they look like. Yeah, because they, they were pretty beads, mm -hmm. but somebody yeah. thought they'd be more pretty if they were like Technicolor. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Anne, hello, Anne, and Mergle. Oh, is, is the first tumbler still available? The no. Strange Harvest? The, that would be the Strange Harvest one. No. No. Each tumbler is only good for the month that it's released. This one will be an exception because we're releasing it in the middle of the month here. Um, but no, they are limited edition tumblers. So the New Day tumbler and the Strange Harvest tumblers are no longer available. Right now we have this Greenscapes tumbler is available and the one we're going to show you today. So those are available. Um, Marion says, even with the shipping to the wilds of Canada, AG is one of the few places I buy from based on unique items and quality. Thank you. Mm. And it says, you're both so adorable. Thank you. We try. All right, it's been a long time. We've gone over our hour talk time. Let's let's show you some stuff. Um, what do you want to see first, everybody? What do you want to see first? Let me move some stuff out of this out of the way um, so that you don't get a preview of everything before. Let me start with the mug. How about that? Everybody want a mug today? Hold that up. I will. I'm gonna also turn it too. But so the mug. We're calling this the Fresh Start Mug. And let me move this up a little bit. The Fresh Start Mug. And this is Andrew's collage work on a mug. Now these mugs are 12 ounce mugs. Um, they are dishwasher safe, microwave safe. You should not have any problems with this. It is dye sublimated on. Sturdy. Sturdy. We've used it in our own home. Yes, we do. So I use the misprints. <laughs> we use the misprints to, to test everything. So this mug is available in the online store. I don't, I put them on the website, but I did not have time to actually um, uh, put them on the homepage or anything. Um, but if you type in, let me make sure it works, fresh start, you're going to see it. You're also going to get a preview of the Tumblr. So I'm going to show you that real quick here now too. Um, so if you're typing that in, you don't see it before you see it. Um, so that's the Fresh Start mug. And, and it's kind of a part of the New Day series. It's part of the New Day series. It's New different. Day, Fresh Start. And this I is love this one. the Tumblr, everybody. I love this. Look at that. Let me tell you, I love this one. Andrew, Andrew said he gave this one the go because um, we were talking about what to do for a new artwork for tumblers. And I had these collages that were in progress. They're and, actually, um, I have them here. And I just love them the way they work because the new day collages that I made had like, there was like a sun and stuff and there was a little bit more, they were a little bit more involved. And I'm getting into the point where I'm really enjoying um, some some more simplicity mm -hmm. to what I do and that's not exactly true all the time <laughs> because I am a chronic noodler of yeah things. you are yeah you are um and so anyway so this is an attempt 
uh, kind of refining some of my shapes and forms and kind of not overworking them too much. But um, I just love it. I think it turned out really great. He wanted to look like a, a kind of a quilt. Yeah, I pattern. think it was successful. <clears throat> I think it came out really nice. So this is available now in the online store. If you type in fresh start in the search bar, that'll pop up. I'm going to get it on the homepage and all that later. Um, Another thing I've been thinking about lately, talking about the homepage of the website and stuff, I think we're going to start switching up the homepage a little bit. Um, I don't know when it's going to happen. It might not happen until we move the store, but the homepage I think is going to be a place where we're not going to have products start just filling up the homepage. Um, we don't, we have an about us section on the website, but our website doesn't really introduce who we are as a company and who we are um, in a way that's easily accessible to people. So when you get to our website, it's just about shopping. And as you know, that's an important component to an online business, but that is not all that we are. We're more than just We're much more than that. Buy, as you all know. Right. Some and we all have been on for an hour and it's not necessarily because you're going to buy everything. Right. So we want when people come to our website to have an introduction to us, who we are, what the business is, like how is Star Cottage Studio related to Allegory Gallery and like things like that, like um, maybe easier jumps into some of our tutorial programming and things like that, especially as we're getting more into that this year. So I'm, I'm mentally working on because I don't have a lot of time to, to physically work on, but I've been mentally working on what our new homepage could look like um, as we go forward. And so don't be, you know, I know some of you like the fact that when you go to our website, the newest stuff is there and it's right there and you can buy it. Um, but we're going to try and do some more rearranging and um, you'll have to use the shop tab probably more in the future to get to things to shop to. But I hope that it gives everybody who comes to our site a better idea of what we're about and what we mean. If you're not watching these lives, then you don't get that from us, I think. Right now you just get that we, yeah, you get kind of that we sell stuff, especially if you just go to our website now. Yeah, a lot of our lives, because we're transitioning our, our physical space, are more selling lives. Yeah, and we have to do that because we have to stay afloat while we're moving. Um, and that's the new that's where we're making the majority of our money is through through the online our online presence yes yeah. otherwise like our in-store sales in our old our old location that we just left two weeks <laughs> ago right um you know the numbers weren't there to support it I mean, I guess we could have kept going if we had really tried to fight. We were getting to the point where it was almost just breaking even being there. And so, that's not worth it. So, um, so but it did make some money. Yeah. So we are still, still pushing money. hard. We can't just do the programming we were doing before and keep going. We have mm -hmm. to do a little bit more selling. So we know that's maybe annoying to some people, um, but hopefully you'll still support us and, and keep buying something once in a while to help pay that mortgage we, we keep um we try to keep a balance yeah. between like the stuff we sell and what we have to offer that is accessible to everyone um william and i both grew up with not a lot of money and so we don't want to exclude anybody if they don't have a lot of money right um, so it's really important to us to, um, you know, uh, have um, things that are accessible for everybody. Everyone. So I'm moving this down a little bit so we can show you this way now. So you can get up close, kind of more personal view of this. Um, this is the Fresh Start mug available in the online store. These are all made to order. So sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, but I've been making them pretty fast for everybody. Um, and we're catching up on our shipping really well. Um, so things should go out pretty quickly if you order. And this is the Fresh Start Tumblr. And Love these, it. yeah, these are, um, what is it? BPA free, stainless, um, not gonna rust on you. 
uh, these um, these are definitely, Anne just said the mug is beautiful. They wash up great in the dishwasher. Yeah, they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Um, I believe the tumbler is dishwasher safe too. I have the details. Um, food grade, stainless steel, non-toxic, no um, odd odor, no rust, BPA free, splash proof lid is available there as well. Um, I think if you're going to put these in the... Um, <clears throat> in the dishwasher, you want to do top rack um, on those, but hand washing them is probably best. Yeah, because I don't know. Our dishwasher sometimes <clears throat> a little bit wild. All dishwashers are different, yeah. And so the art on that tumbler comes from these, as Andrew was saying. Um, so that's where this is. This art isn't online. I don't know if Andrew's going to add more to it. Um, I kind of want to do, I want to test it. And see if people like the basics. Not the base. I don't like to call it basic. But Not basic, less, but the less frou frou. Less frou frou. Because I have this tendency where I it's almost compulsive. Yeah. Where and this is also one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of my I historically have not had a lot of my own artwork uh, in the house, and it's because. Um, it will never be done. And never I will, finished. Like one time, um, he's like, where's that painting? <clears throat> and I was like, oh, I added to it. <laughs> and he's like, what? What are you doing? And so I kept adding and adding and adding to it. So um, so maybe we'll put these up then. I'll get yeah. pictures of them maybe tomorrow. And we'll add them to the online store. Maybe I like them. What do you think of that? Do you, would, would you be interested in things like this? At a lower know, price point? I don't necessarily know. It depends on... I don't... I wouldn't say that. What? The, the lower price point. Then the $38 one or whatever they were before? Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> there's a lot of work both ways. Um, and the way that I work, I work in series. So I produce a lot of work. And I also produce a lot of like side work. So it's not saying that there's less work in these in one way. It's just different. So it may be a little bit less, but I'm not going to um, undersell them because I think they're... No, they're great. I was just thinking because these coming up are at a lower price point than what you've done before. I know. <laughs> That's why I say that, which you all didn't know yet. But um, we he's also come up with a new series, kind of. Um, it's the Noble Creatures series, but it's Noble Creatures Redux. And so this you know, is... I pronounced that wrong for about 100 years. <laughs> I kept saying redo. Redo. Because I thought it was French. Redux. And um, let me just show you one. So here's one here. So what these are, um, these are the mono prints on the background. These are on the Bristol board. And they're old artwork that's in the monoprint on top. So the monoprint's the background. And then these, instead of hand drawing each one, these are prints of... They're archival prints that I then call, use as collage elements. Yeah. So they are the noble creatures, archival prints of the noble creatures used in the collage and then embellished. Like we had prints made and they were the wrong size. Mm -hmm. And so I hated the idea of throwing them away because um, they were still like, they were just the wrong size, but they were not, you know, they're not bad. No, they just didn't fit in what we wanted them to fit in. Uh huh. And so we got a, a weird batch of mm -hmm. friends. So, um, so instead of throwing that away, I thought it might be nice to use them. And this is kind of like a teaser taste of some of the new work that I'm working on, where I'm blending different series. I think if you follow my work long enough, you can see how everything is connected. I mean, the strange harvest may seem weird, right? Fruit with faces on it. <laughs> Yeah. But does it really when after you see Cornelius? Right. You know, like there there's a lot of connectivity 
throughout that runs through my work. It just depends when you see it. Yeah, and know? what part you see. Um, Anne says, I love finding a way to use perfectly good prints. Yeah. Suzanne says, nice. I think it makes it look different too. Yeah, it gives a different, like these, they're raised off of, because they're collaged on and it just, it adds to it, I think. So these are, this series, the Redux, these are $20 only. There's only one of each and they're available in the online store. If you look up Noble Creatures, if you go into the Noble Creatures collection and sort it um, newest to oldest, or if you type in Noble Creatures Redux, they will all come up and I'm gonna show you them here now. And we, um, this is, I, I saw, I went back and forth, back and forth and back and forth about making them the size of, um, cause for a while we were making A C E O. A C E O's. Um, every month. And because we've been so busy, that's kind of fallen on the wayside a little mm -hmm. bit. So this is kind of like in the, it's like one step up. And I don't know, it's kind of like we took that idea of the the ACEOs where they were like a series, mm -hmm. a more affordable series instead of, because if I hand paint each one, I did hand paint each one of these, but um, <laughs> I was going to say you still did. I know, but with the ACEOs, um, I use like the laser, for example, yeah. to help keep the cost down. And even though the ACEOs were more than these. So these ones, <laughs> you know, we, we're, nobody said we're smart. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, this is just something new and different. Um, but kind of plays off of the work I've already done. So that it, because I feel like sometimes with affordable artwork. Okay, here is the thing. For me and my philosophy with affordable artwork. Um, sometimes when I think something really inexpensive so that it makes it more accessible to other people, it does not always take an effect or take into account the time and energy that gets into it. So it's me no. lowering the price just so that it makes it more accessible. Um, and in that way, then you just have to be aware that I will still use those images to create merchandise, mm -hmm. like with the mugs and stuff like that, and um, bags. And when we had Society6 more, mm -hmm. um, they would be used in those kind of things. But also, those images don't kind of die once they're they're in the in the world. These are things that are a part of my art, like. Who I am as an artist? Am I like oeuvre? Oeuvre. Um, am I? So it's a part of my kind of visual vocabulary. So a lot of stuff. I don't know if y'all know this. Is like when I started making artwork in art school, I would do these collages. I would do like a painting, and then I would make prints of the painting, and then I would collage with that. So in some ways, this is going back to that where I'm taking work that I've made previously and kind of integrating them together. And so there you go. Um, let's see. Did I read this? Lena says, I love collage and assemblage. It, that's adorable and allows you to use your original artwork in different ways. Yeah, I like it. I know some people, they're like, oh, I bought the original. I don't ever want anything. If you do want me never to use the piece that you bought, um, then we're going to have to talk about we'll arrangements. Give you a, we'll give you a price for that. <laughs> like, I do create artwork for other people, um, and it is sometimes a little bit more because it's like almost like a commission. And yeah. then that way you're buying the rights of that artwork right. and that, of that intellectual property. Karen's asking... Uh, or questioning, they would make beautiful magnets. Um, yeah, we could do that. Lena says, I wonder if they could sublimate onto magnetic sheet. Um, we possibly could, but that would be a whole other line of items. I mean, we can sublimate on the wood and then glue a magnet to the back. Yep. We've done that just in like, the past. Just like we do the pins. 
I'm not afraid. Yeah, magnetic sheet, that would be another thing, but onto the wood, we can make them wooden magnets if people are interested, if you are interested. Um, maybe we'll talk about that. Send us an email that you'd be interested. Um, the other thing I do um, is whenever we do make um, copies of work that I've previously made um, for the use in collage materials or in like dye sublimation or the mugs or whatever, I do try to change them a little. Mm -hmm. So um, like sometimes we'll boost up the contrast. Well, like or... you can see, like this one, let's see if I can find. This one stayed pretty true, but there's a little bit of a change in contrast and, um, I like in, that. In the, in the balancing contrast there. I pur so we purposely, we purposely I, most of these um, sublimated items get a full, sh when I print them, a full sheet balance um, and contrast change. And um, this is not on purpose. So yep. it's not like we are colorblind and can't match color. <laughs> yeah, we're not um, trying to match the color. Sometimes I purposely want something to be more purple than the original and just so you know whenever you see the gold on here that's andrew did that by hand too yeah that's not that's not part of the it's print, printed obviously. but then i go back over and then add on top on top so that's the first set of what 12 here we've got and i think i'm going to explore this idea more so this is kind of like a teaser case. Yeah. Some of the stuff that I'm working And these, on. again, are only $20 each. They're available right now on the website. Just go to allegorygallery.com. That's up here also. And go to, just type in Redux, and you'll see them all. R-E-D-U-X, Redux. I think also it goes back into that kind of mentality that we're trying to um, be create things that are not going to just like one and done mm -hmm. we want to have some stuff that's more evergreen and um like i spent a, so i don't know if y'all know the story about the noble creatures um but when william okay so there's a there's multiple parts of this story <laughs> so one, one of the parts was i um won a scholarship to aromont and i took a workshop with barbara mcfadden who is an amazing artist. She's mostly known for her enamel work. Um, and that's kind of like why I went there. Um, and one of the processes that she showed was how to add graphite to enamel. And so for me, my background, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I went and I got my original degree, my BFA in fine art. So I got my degree in painting and mixed media. So this is where, you know, in some ways, it, I think it, it's good because, um, you know, a lot of jewelers, like bench jewelers, there's a lot of rules and like there's, there's kind of like a, um, a old guard kind of boys club where they're like, oh, this you only have value in the gold and the diamonds and the you know, the bead settings or whatever it's called. Um, and I'm not like that. I think there's a value and creativity and exploring new techniques and mediums and stuff like that. So anyway, so I wanted to incorporate some of my drawings to again, um, circle back to my work. So um, it's always kind of like an Ouroboros where like, you know, do y'all know what Ouroboros is where the snake um, swallows its own tail? So it's this thing in my work where I will make a work, I'll move on to something else, but then I'll circle back to those ideas. So there's a constant cycle of revisiting old work and adding new things, but also honoring the past and kind of evolving them. Um, so anyway, so that was one facet of why I st started the noble creature because I started um, a series um, of adding drawings into the graphite or using graphite onto the enamel. Um, 
And then shortly after that, William, um, he had heart issues um, and we really didn't know how we were gonna pay for all that. So he has in, had insurance and we have insurance now, but at the time he had a different kind of insurance and we were still trying to figure out things about how we were gonna pay for all this stuff because it was very expensive and like the prices were like 500 and for a month's worth of pills and it was very scary. So um, we made these to kind of help offset some of the medical expenses, but also when he would go to appointments, um, I needed, cause I'd sit in like the waiting room, I needed something that I could take and take with me. Mm -hmm. So um, like when my dad got sick, and um, was dying from cancer, um, like I took this on the plane and I would work on the plane so that we would, you know, we could still make new things. And um, so the small size of the pieces, um, the originals, um, which maybe I'll show the originals of some of them. These ones are not out yet. Lena says, I need the goat. I need it. These are all on the website. Go to the you website grab and it. grab it. That There's is... only one of each. One of each. Of this flavor. So this is the originals. Um, these ones haven't been released yet because I want to make a couple more. Um, but I made them small size and using limited materials, graphite and a little bit of paint so that I could take them on the plane or take it in the waiting room and work on stuff instead of just like sitting there and like stewing. In... And there are still some originals available on the website, I believe. Oh, really? Let me see. I thought they all sold that. Right? Noble creatures. Gotta get past. We also do pendants, necklaces with those. Now we still have a few out there that are available. Which name the unloved ones? Mm, a number of them. Oh, then y'all didn't like that. <laughs> Both cats? Really? The spotted rust cat didn't get picked. You know, this is again one of those examples of something that we came out with and then it kind of disappeared. We put out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we're not great at once we post it in social media, it's like wham bam done. We posted it. So we'll probably be going back to repost some of this stuff and make a bigger splash about some of it too. Maybe make some reels up now that the reels are catching on a little bit. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I can't believe that those are still available. Well, we also made a lot of prints and things like the pendants and stuff based off of the artwork. Yeah, we made the pendants, um, which come with a chain for $20. And so, so maybe that's why they didn't really take off. But the, the originals are only 48 So if you're looking for one of the originals, you can check those out in our online store as well. Um, under the Noble Creatures collection. And then tonight... Did you want us to do... Did you post those on the website or not yet? Yeah. yeah. No, the... Yes. Ah. Okay. Why? Um, so he has these available for the ones that's coming up. He'll have available. But if you want to duplicate the project, yeah, I'm going to show you... I don't know if I'll show you tonight because this is already kind of a long live. Maybe another night we'll do. We'll sit down and do it. Um, or over the weekend or something we can do. But um, go ahead and show them so that makes sense. We made wooden pendants. These are a little bit larger than our normals. Um, I think these are two just about yeah two inches by two and a quarter inches um they are double-sided um but we made them with a hole at the top for a pendant and, and we also purposely smaller yeah and he'll tell you why when he shows you the project 
Um, but we also made one without a hole in case you'd like to do some seed beating, maybe, or use it as a cab of some sort. Um, I'm, we're <clears throat> going to sell a kit that um, I'm still pulling this stuff together. Yeah, so you can buy these independently if you'd like to. They're $10 each on the website right now. And you can buy an upgrade, and the upgrade will come out maybe maybe tonight. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on life. Yeah, and if you buy these and you want the upgrade, you can put it in your order. Um, if you want to get that order in tonight, make sure you grab them, and we will um, we can invoice you for the upgrade. Um, the upgrade is going to include, I can show you some of the stuff um, that's going to be in the upgrade. So the upgrade is going to include these two tubes. One is a size six um, of the Japanese seed beads, Mayuki dyed opaque bright purple size six O. One is um, an opaque periwinkle Mayuki CB 8O. And then there will be a tiny little bag of um, these ones. And these are a silver line gold. And that's so if you want to bead weave around them. And I'll show you the project maybe tomorrow. Andrew's going to do that project. On the live tomorrow um and then that way it will show how to use the cabochon yeah now if you want the pendant you can grab the pendant tonight yeah the hole is smaller because and it will come with i don't know if we should have this as an add-on or just throw it in we'll probably just throw it in um because it will come with this and it's this little stamped um brass floral or uh i guess floral leaf. would you call that floral a leaf botanical 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 veil that's a veil y'all yeah so you would be like what's what's him with this chicken foot put it there and you wrap it around to the other side rivet through it and i'm going to show you how to do that Maybe you, also tomorrow. And you'll have a bell on top if you want to. This will be while supplies last on these, y'all. You'll get that while supplies last as an so extra. So y'all buy 144 of them, <laughs> y'all will get one. You'll get one. All right. So that's something that's on the website. The CB pour portion is not on the website yet. No. That's coming soon. Yeah, but if you do buy them tonight, if you wanted to buy one of each and just get your order in, you can place your order tonight and just put in the notes that you're interested in the upgrade and we'll invoice you separately for the upgrade then. And we'll when include we it with your order. When we do sell it as a kit, it's not going to, it's going to be the same price. So when we sell, there'll be one where you can just buy the pendant or the cabochon. There'll be one where it's just the upgrade. So it's just the seed beads. And then there'll be one, one listing that's the cabochon and the seed beads. So you can buy to one work. and done. But they won't all be $10. The thing itself is $10. But then the, the upgrades, we're not charging you more or less if you buy tonight, is what he's saying. Yeah. These will go up. It's all the same price. Yeah. All right. And we're going to have to get kind of, uh, I don't know, mindful of that because um i don't want to oversell the sea beads so we just have to be careful we will probably that. not include it <clears throat> separately because there's no point in including the kit the kit's meant to go with these so we'll probably do one with and one without okay so because that way we can't we can't if people buy it separately we can't oversell no we'll invoice them separately if they want to invoice so explain that to them because I got confused. So if you buy this tonight, for example, you want to buy this with your tumbler or with your mug and you just want to put it in the same order. If you put a note that you're interested in the upgrade, we will send you a little invoice that you pay just for the upgrade part. So but they... when it goes on the website together, 
maybe tonight, maybe very quickly, depending on what we get together, then you can buy it as a package. But if you want to buy now, like right now, you're putting in an order and you say, I want that, just put in your order that you're interested in the upgrade and we'll invoice you for it. Um, should you say send an email or no? Like an email. Put it, a note on the order okay. so that Barb doesn't miss it when it goes out. Okay. Yep, just put a note in your order. That way you can do it all within your same order. Because I don't have access to the order, so that's no. why I don't know about that. <laughs> no. We'll take care of it in shipping. And then we'll show you how it turned out. Yeah, we'll show you how to do this. He's got wow. something started, but it's not enough. And We've it's, been working it's, fast and furious all day. Yeah. And I took a brief nap because I was like passing out. Yeah, you didn't sleep at all last night, I don't think. And so he saw me and he's like, um. I said, you go to bed. He was nice. literally falling asleep, sitting up. Well, I was cutting stuff. And he was like, can you not do that with the very sharp scissors? Yeah. He's like, you know, going to take an eye out. So how'd you like that, everybody? Did you like those? Hopefully you like those. Um, again, uh, one of the reasons, again, that we want to, we're talking about redoing the homepage is because people think of us as a bead store, and we are. Um, and people come to us for that, but we have always been more than that. And a lot of people don't realize that sometimes. So the art portion of allegory gallery is every bit as important as the bead portion. Um, the bead portion generally sells more stuff because that's what we've focused on. But you will probably see during this kind of fresh start in this transition, and as we move forward, you're gonna start seeing more prominence of the art in with everything else. Also, because um, the space that we're moving into was where we were going to put Butcher Block Gallery, you're going to see a new section called Butcher Block Gallery, and it's going to be like an online section, and it's going to feature some of the stuff that we would have done mm -hmm. in the new business. Yeah. However, it's going to be the old business. <laughs> it's all going to be under one thing, but it's going to have its own section on the website that we're going to plan at least try to get that going. Um, so art jewelry. It's going to be art jewelry. And um, we have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like we, finished there, pieces. There, we have a mountain. There is a mountain over here. Of stuff that we need to, to get up, but we just haven't had time. Yeah. Show the tumbler next to your face because I think it looks good. There's the tumbler, everybody. Oh, Dana, go. Right. Donna says, thank you, William and Andrew. You are not just a bead store. The art is incredible and definitely worth a look. Gotta go. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you all for hanging out with us. If you have any questions about anything, please uh, visit the listings on the website. Check and see if your question is answered there. And if not, send us an email. All right. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to go get something to eat and then get back to work. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Bye now. See ya.